We have three real main planks of strategy of trying to control or even eradicate malaria. We have drug control, we have an effective vaccine, and the other way is to control the vectors, to control the mosquitoes themselves. So in controlling malaria, one of the biggest problems we face is drug resistance. The parasites become resistant to the drugs and then we can't use them anymore. So we've identified a genetic trap where we can control the resistance. If the parasites become resistant, they are unable to pass on that resistance to uh, any new parasites and so they fall into our trap and are unable to spread their resistance around the globe. With this trap concept we think we can actually apply it to more than just this um, pre-existing drug. We think that new drugs can be developed that will also fall into our trap um, and we might actually be able to change our strategy of what kind of drugs we develop and what drug targets we go for, keeping this trap in mind as a way to prevent them from spreading resistance. Our team that discovered the trap actually comes from Australia, uh, from Indonesia, from Japan and from uh, the USA. The penny really dropped at a meeting a, a while back in Jakarta when several of us sitting around the table looking at our new results that we just talked about and thought, hey, this might actually work as a mechanism to trap resistance. Uh, and so then followed a long series of experiments proving that the theory was right and, uh, and the theory is right, now we just need to move it into the field and check that it actually works. Uh, in the real world in Africa or Asia or South America.